Welcome to part 1 on Zoho People's self-service module. In this video, we'll explore the various features and benefits of the self-service module and how it can help employees take control of their HR-related tasks. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe and press that bell icon to stay updated with our video tutorials. Self-service provides employees with access to their personal records. At the same time, here they can do HR-related operations like applying for a leave, adding time locks, viewing stored and shared files. Profile page is where employees can see and added personal information and configure some settings. There is profile picture, name, role in the company, department, and email on the top, with more details provided on the page. To associate employee with a certain group and make search process faster and more convenient, use tags. To add or to remove certain tag or skill, just click on the plus icon. To make adjustments in other work and personal information, click Edit tab. Personal settings allow you to set up language, country, time zone, permissions, and theme settings. In the Team tab, you will see total number and list of members of your team, who is the head of the department, and department email. If you hover your mouse over any team member, you will find chat icon. Just click on it to start a conversation. Calendar consolidates data about holidays, leave and time logs. It is also convenient to apply for them directly from this page by clicking on a specific date tile. To see all your leave applications, past and upcoming, and apply for a new leave, go to Leave Tracker. Time Tracker is where you log time for activities that you do. There are two ways to log time, with timer or manually by clicking on Log Time. You may want to filter your logs by time period, clients, projects, jobs, or statuses. There's also an option to import or export time logs. In Attendance section, you can do a web check-in check-out, view the total hours logged per day, view payable days or payable hours, and other information for the week. It's easy to navigate to previous week and see details about past attendance. Change from week to view to month view and import or export records when necessary. That's it for now. In the next video, we will cover the rest of self-service sections. Stay tuned. We hope you found this overview of Zoho People's self-service module informative. Be sure to check out part 2 of our series. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment or message us at knowhow at customerization.ca.